Crime Alert News 4 continues to track car thefts in St. Louis City. It's plaguing residents, visitors, and business owners. And News 4's Alexis Zoto speaking to one of the latest victims who has to take matters into his own hands. It's half of our delivery fleet. Preston Walker owns Eat Here STL, a distributor connecting local farmers to area restaurants. So it was tough to find one of their delivery vans stolen from their business off Manchester Road. Pretty much panic. Um, it's never happened to me like as a business owner or just like as a resident. But uh, this June is our busiest month. So I'm just like of all the things of all the times for this to happen. This is like a, just a nightmare. It's one of 2,773 vehicles stolen so far this year in St. Louis City. If you do the math, that's around 17 vehicles a day up about a thousand compared to this time last year. But the refrigerated van is back all thanks to a call from his own employee. I just drove by what I think is the van. The van was parked on Arkansas Avenue in Tower Grove South. They called police and investigators checked the VIN number and returned it to Walker. But inside this is their stuff. A truck filled with stuff that belonged to the thieves. That, there's a guitar in there. Um, there's a bike in there, a nice Raleigh mount, mountain bike. Walker said police weren't interested in it, nor did they take fingerprints or other evidence. The police you know, helped us get it back, but there wasn't a lot of investigation that went on there. And uh, so I wasn't really investigating anything. I was just trying to clean it out. And the cab was like full of candy wrappers, which is, was very strange, but I found a receipt from Dollar Tree. So he went to the Dollar Tree on Morgan Ford and the employee showed him the surveillance video that lined up with the receipt. We're blurring their faces because these individuals have not been charged. Saw the van pull onto the lot um, through the video and then we were able to find them as they walked in the in the store and get a pretty good ID. He turned the pictures over to police, but so far no arrests have been made. It's very disheartening though. I will I will say that News 4 reached out to police who said they couldn't comment on this case, but they said they often prioritize cars taken in a carjacking or robbery versus stolen from a parking lot, especially given the volume of stolen cars reported each week. Police say a lot of these car thefts are happening at gas stations. It's why you'll see notices like this, a special bulletin trying to help prevent the next person from becoming a victim. Don't leave your car running and don't leave the keys where they're easily accessible. Police issuing this warning this week. What does take seconds is for someone to open your car door if it's running and drive away. What does take seconds is if your door is unlocked for them to to open the door and take a purse or an iPad off the front seat. Walker's truck was locked, but that didn't stop the thieves. Next, he'll be adding a club and another easy tool. Putting an air tag, hiding it somewhere in the vehicle. Um, that way you can track it. In South St. Louis, Alexis Zotos, News 4. You can't imagine that happening to me. And this is not just a problem in the city. St. Louis County and neighboring municipalities also reporting a spike in car thefts. If you missed those numbers earlier, we also have that for you on KMOV.com.